and title again, please. It's uh, S H A W N D O N A G H Y, and I'm the Chief Executive Officer at Sea Tran. Um, how's your driver doing? You know, she's doing well. Uh, obviously, she's a little shook up. I think we all would be. Uh, I've been in the business about 20 years, and I can tell you that while these things are extremely rare, uh, you know, they, they would shake anybody up. So we're just really proud of uh, how she handled the situation on the bus. Can you describe that? I mean, what, what did she do right? Yeah, I mean, you know, she just went back and, and, and really focused on her training and tried to control the situation as best as she could, uh, talked to the suspect who was on the bus at the time, um, and really that's what helped lead to the resolution. Very thankful for VPD, uh, Portland Police, and the WSP. I mean, they were outstanding in helping us resolve the situation, so I want to make sure we recognize them as well. Um, can, did she, has she described to you, I mean, the, situ, the situation, you threatened with a gun, or how did you get on the bus? Or? She did, and uh, it's still under investigation right now, so I can't release too many details. The one thing that I can tell you is, is that uh, the suspect boarded the bus, uh, did state that he had a weapon and wanted the bus diverted to Portland, uh, and that's about all the information that I can give you at this time. So do you want to tell us a little bit about exactly where this happened? Yeah, so it happened uh, along 4th Plain near SR 500. They boarded the bus there and demanded before they got to 205 to divert the bus to Portland. Um, she did a great job of uh, maintaining traffic, knowing that the police were behind her, uh, and they just did an outstanding job of uh, swarming the bus and making sure that that incident was resolved quickly. How many people were on the bus with her? How many passengers? There were no passengers on the bus at the time. Uh, the demand was made to go to Portland, so uh, I think that was extremely helpful. But. You know, her actions significantly helped resolve that situation, so we're really just proud of her for that. I mean, we've got a lot of great employees that love to serve our community, and they're out there every day facing some difficult, uh, difficult situations at times. This one sort of falls on the a 10 meter, um, but we're just really proud of what she did and, and, and uh, really glad that she's safe and, and can't wait for her to come back to work. She's taking a few days off. Yeah, she can take all the time she needs and we'll reevaluate the situation with uh, the police department and, and see where we're at. And, and, and again, we're just really thankful for her actions. They significantly contributed to uh, resolving the issue. So. Has this happened before? No, I, I, I think it did happen here one time, I want to say back in the late 80s or early 90s. Like I said, these things are extremely few and far between. Uh, I've been in the business about 20 years and you know this is only the second one I've ever experienced. They, they don't happen very often. So. She was, he was alone when he got on the bus, right? I mean, it was just him. Well, I, I believe when he got on the bus, there were a few other passengers that boarded with him. Oh. Uh, he rode a few routes throughout the day, so we're trying to sort of uh, siphon through the details. But um, when he made the demand, uh, when he forced her to divert the bus, uh, he was alone on the bus. They got off at some point then. Yeah. He stayed on it then. I got you, got you. Okay, cool. Anything Thank else that you want to add that we haven't asked that you think is important to the story? No, just to reiterate uh, how thankful we are for uh, Portland Police Department, especially the Vancouver Police Department and WSP. I mean, they really did an outstanding job of making sure that our employees are safe. And uh, any time that our family at CTRAN has uh, encountered any situations, the law enforcement has just really been uh, a great asset to us to be able to stop those situations from uh, escalating. So I just want to make sure we recognize them. Great to talk to us. Appreciate it.